good morning student in today's lecture we will start with our first section a part that is bio part so our first chapter is the human anatomy and physiology now in this step first chapter first is the introduction good working of body needs proper functioning of system like respiratory system digestive system every system has organ which are made up of tissue and tissue made up of cell and you you all know cells are the fundamental unit of life so in this chapter we will learn the basic working of system students now first question comes in our mind while reading the name of chapter is that what is anatomy and physiology anatomy branches of biology which deal with human body, body structures provides information about structure its shape and many more now next is physiology which deal with the functioning of various organ or system their relationship with other organs and its effects next main system of human body that you know the main system of human body is our skeleton system muscular system circulation system respiratory system digestive system nervous system glandular systems excretory system reproductive system now first is skeleton system it consists of bones joints cartilage etc it provides body framework and shape of to body it protects delicate organs and gives junction to skeleton muscles muscular system it consists of muscles tendons ligaments etc it provides movement to body through its contractions circulatory system is consists of blood blood vessels heart etc it provides fluid movement in the body next respiratory system is consists of breathing organ like lungs tigra etc it also help in energy production digestive system is consists of digestive organs like the stomach food pipe intestine etc it helps in energy production nervous system is consists of brain spinal cord and nerves nerves sorry it controls the working of various organs of the body glandular system it consists of endocrine and exocrine glands like liver pancreas thyroid adrenal pituitary salivary etc it helps various organs to work properly excretory system is consists of kidneys skin etc it helps in excreting waste from the body reproductive system it consists of reproductive organs it helps in reproducing young ones now next is importance of anatomy and physiology what is the importance of anatomy and physiology in the human system first is knowledge gain these are important subjects of biology and give us knowledge about our body understanding of body structure anatomy is a subject which helps to understand the body structure properly understanding the body organs physiology helps to understand the role and functioning of various organs and system give us knowledge about their working helps to improve health these are important subjects which help to improve good health of individual prevents health problems good understanding of these subjects help to overcome health problems with their knowledge improves efficiency these subjects help the individual to improve the efficiency of various system thus overall efficiency can be improved understanding the cause of health problems these subjects help to understand the cause of health problems and guide us good way to overcome these now general working of skeleton system it improves the efficiency of body it consists of bones cartilage and their joints which form a supporting framework constitute the skeleton system next is bone and their classification there are 206 bone in the human body bone is divided into three part head shaft and or tail femur bone present in the in thigh is the longest and steps present in in the ear in the smallest bone cartilages are elastic hard connective tissue the elasticity is due to the presence of chondrin protein and some 
in organic salt cartilage has lucain and chondroblast in its structure it is of three types hyaline cartilage fibrous cartilage and calcified cartilage the structure and size differ in bones bones are classified as long bone short bone flat bone irregular bone sigmoid bones and cartilaginous bones now first is long bones they are long and wide they act as a lever they have long shaft and are round in legs and arms like femur and humerus bones short bones they are short in size and cube shaped they are found in wrist and flanks flat bones flat bones have bored surface they mostly protect our organs and give attachment to muscles like sternum and scapula irregular bone these bones have irregular shape like vertebrae and skull etc next is sigmoid bones these bones are embedded in tendons they hold the tendons like patella cartilaginous bones cartilaginous bones are flexible and soft they are found in ear and nose for today this much is enough and in our next class we will continue further thank you